There's a notice posted on the front door of her office. No perfume, with a circle and line across the middle, like the no smoking symbol. The same is posted on her website as a warning. Dr. Cynthia Bellamy will listen, but she does not want to smell you. You're looking well today. Dr. Bellamy keeps her hands folded over her right knee. She doesn't take notes. I've wondered if there's a recording device in here somewhere. She comes highly recommended. I found her online. I typed in the search slot, best therapist in Atlanta, Georgia. Her website popped up as the first option in a string of many, and kept coming up no matter what else I put in the search engine. There was nothing but glowing reviews from clients whose names were confidential, but had real problems. What else should be expected from her own website? Bad reviews? Either way, she made the point quite well. If not now, when? Change doesn't come naturally. You have to earn it. I liked that model. I also liked the no perfume notice posted below the contact sheet. Kindred spirits indeed. She looks as pleasant in person as she does on her fabulously constructed site. She has a kind round face, penny brown skin, and a steady gaze that says, I'm here to help. Her honey highlighted hair, cut in a fresh bob with blunt bangs, also says serious professional. Today she's wearing a tasteful cashmere sweater with a brown leather skirt. I like her style, making me appreciate her compliment all the more. Thank you. I found this tutorial site online that shows how to make all these chic buns and head wraps. I put a hand on the colorful silk scarf I'm wearing, nodded on the side. I've been battling hair loss, the result of all the stress. The scarves are now my preferred go-to style. I've even added a cool pair of dangly turquoise earrings to banish the concerned looks I was receiving, the questioning stares. Are you sick, going through chemo, honey? Are you a survivor? Yes, indeed, a survivor. I wished I could scream it from the rooftops. I survived, but I didn't want anyone's sympathy. With sympathy came criticism. I simply wanted to speak and have someone listen without judgment or opinion.